nice. How you doing, boy? It kind of looks like, I mean, it's way smaller. Hi! You feel them on your soul. I know, it's like they're just... Hey, you make that noise? Huh? No noise? No? You were a big guy. This one here. Big. Definitely workhorses. Yeah. Yep, that's what they're breeded for. See a lot more. <laughs> I'm taking all the pictures now, but I'm sure we're going to see a lot more in the tour. How many are here? No, I have no idea. Yeah, I think when we get back, we gotta go buy a couple tickets. I think we should. Why you're not videoing us know. walking, are you? I am.
Got everybody? Good, good, good. I'll have to ask John. I don't I don't know at what point in their life that happened. But either in either case he is outside. Are they Budweiser Clydesdale? Sorry? Are they Budweiser Clydesdale or are they uh, yeah, typically, typically our stallions that we acquire for breeding are done from other professional breeders. Yeah. So cheers. Um, so there's strict requirements about traveling with our Clyde sales. We can only travel 500 miles a day and we have to stop every two hours for rest. But with that being said, we will not unload our horses because we do draw a crowd we cannot hide. So at that time, we'll pull, uh, we'll stop, oh wait, guys, we'll pull off and we will give them about 20 or 30 minutes without the motion and clean up any mess they might have made, make sure they have enough hay and water them at that same time. And then at the end of our 500 mile journey, people welcome us into their private stables. So we'll stay with a friend along the way. But if we get into an area where there's not a 10 horse stall barn, we can always pull off into a fairgrounds or something like that and pull out those portable stalls that we carry and spend the night there. Um, we'll always hire local security to stay with our Clydesdale so our handlers can go back and get a good night's rest. And there's cameras on all of our horse trailers so the drivers can see who wants him. And, um, like our hitch horses we'll never sell when we retire them because we don't want anybody pulling them after we you know pull them but um you can buy like a wingling a five month old for five thousand they can go up to 25 30. okay so on your left hand side we'll have rita the mare and ryan the baby the foal and she's a little filly a little girl that was born on june the 6th she was the last one for the 2018 following season and then across from her, you'll have Marcy, who has Moxie. And Moxie's a little filly as well that was born on May the 9th. So those are our last two for the 2018 pulling season. Your baby? Hmm? Your baby? Yeah. 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 And their markings are their markings, but their mane's, tails, and coats will straighten up or darken up as they age. And you'll notice that the baby's uh, manes and tails are curly. They'll straighten out as they mature. And they're fully mature at the age of four. And what the babies will gain about 10 pounds a day. 
until they're about a year old, and then they'll start leveling out. So they grow really fast. Up above you, those we have a catwalk. That's where we'll keep our score bells of hay. All right, all at night, the first thing the handlers do is come in, strip that stall, and start with 12 bags of pine shavings. You'll notice the red piping, that's our fire sprinkler system. And on the side, we have a fly spray system that's also tied in to help with light control. And then you'll notice that this part of the barn is heavily equipped with cameras on the green poles. And that way, John can sit at home and watch his bears or in his office and keep an eye out. Any questions? Oh, no. Uh-uh. The baby? Uh-uh. Yeah. No. Yeah, but did. So that bear does have a white on her neck, but so it's hard to use her back. Ready? 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 You just stand right here. Everybody get a picture with them. So here's the star, huh? No, we're going to do, we're gonna do one right now. Okay. Oh boy. They're so gentle. They really are. Yeah, rough life, huh? Yeah. yeah. Poor guy. They're beautiful animals. Yeah, yeah. We went to a ray tour for one in Florida, uh -huh. which was interesting also. It's so different than these horses. Very different. You know? Yeah, it's uncanny yeah. how far apart they are. Polo ponies. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you.